This is an IEG or Electrolux. Came in for repair and um, <coughs> it was dead. Uh, so um, we checked the fuse in the plug and that was open circuit. Also noticed um, that the uh, cord clamp was loose and also the uh, negative the blue lead was very long, excessively long, uh, whereas it should be just long enough and the earth lead uh, should be long so that if the cord gets clamped, then, uh, get, not gets clamped, it gets snatched, then the power wires will disconnect but leave the earth lead intact. Um, so I shortened the power supply leads um, uh, the positive negative lead was in fact uh, loose in the pillar screw of the plug top. Now because it was loose and possibly um, uh, connecting and disconnecting intermittently uh, that could blow the fuse because of the initial surge of current when you switch on and so the um, if it switches itself on and off, it's going to shorten the life of the fuse. It could even blow the fuse. But still, there's always a reason for a fuse to go. They don't. They don't go for no reason other than age. Uh, this machine is about 11 years old, uh, possibly more than that. Um, anyway, the. Um, when I replaced the fuse, uh, reconnected the leads in the plug and um, a cord clamp. After um, uh, adjusting the length of the leads to make them longer again, or to make the earth lead slightly longer than the uh, power leads. And it was uh, still dead. So we took the casing off it and found that there is an internal fuse uh, just in the power supply where the, lead, uh, where the power lead goes in. There is one small fuse which is uh, specifically for uh, internal use. It's not a fuse what you put in the plug. I was about to put my meter across this fuse when I noticed someone had uh, put this bit of copper wire across it, wrapped it round and it was loose. Um, now to wrap a fuse up, even in fuse wire, is a, it's a codge, it's a bodge and it's dangerous. And the reason it's dangerous even with fuse wire is because the fuse wire can come adrift and touch something it shouldn't and it could well, it could eventually help to cause a fire or it could damage the rest of the circuit if it unwraps and touches something else. And I know there are techies out there saying, oh, it's unlikely to do that. But it's still not up to standard, is it? You don't wrap fuses up with wire. You know, that's Joe Public does that because they don't know better. And you certainly don't wrap them up with copper wire, which will most definitely glow like a fire bar if you get a fault and that will cause a fire. Hmm. So, I replaced the fuse with the correct type and rating of fuse. Um, and we've tested it again now, and it seems to be fine. Uh, we're going to pad test this machine now. I mean, it's not a portable appliance, but it's uh, still a microwave. And uh, even though it's a fitted kitchen one, in actual fact, these things here are actual you know, standard microwaves and they've just got the um, extra fascia and boxing around the microwave to uh, for ventilation purposes so that nothing you know they can put boxes around these this here along the top and there's another box to the side and there's a vent here that's to stop it from being suffocated by other fittings which might be in the wall unit. So we're going to pad test this now 
And, uh, oh yes, I smoke, isn't it? Terrible. I don't care. Um, that's not my bad test, eh? Um, with, with a microwave, you also do a microwave leakage test. But we'll pack test it first. And uh, just to um, make sure it's safe before I give it to the, the customer back, a pack tester here. Yeah. Um, so, we we'll just plug this into the pack tester. Set this, uh, I haven't set this job up very well at all. I've got to show you what's going on and um, find a screw to work it out on. Now, this is a class two appliance um, because it's only got one layer of insulation or gap between live parts and the casing, it's not double insulated, so it's a class one appliance. Now, if it comes up as low load, then you would have to hold the buttons in. Now, the earth continuity is 0.01 ohms, that's fine. Insulation is 8.21 mega ohms, and sub leak is below 40.46 milliamps. So that's a pass as far as the actual packed um, uh, insulation and earth continuity testing goes, and uh, earth loop impedance. So that's fine, so we can turn the pack test drop. Next test we're going to do now is the leakage test for microwaves, uh, any microwave leakage. Um, so we can plug the appliance in like that. Get this pack test out of the way. And this is the microwave leakage tester I use. Simple to operate. You just simply switch it on and you go around the, the edges of it basically, about four inches away from the edges and you test it while it's on. So while it's actually working, turn that off for a second, what we'll do is we'll put something inside the microwave, a cup of water will do. I've got half a cup of tea here. Now the customer didn't bring it in with the spider, that's the drive which drives the plate, uh, or the plate, so um, the results may not be as good. And um, so now we're going to give it a, a go. I do, I'm bloody hopeless using these things I am. And there's a 30 second one, turn our microwave leakage tester on, bring it all the way around. Now if it goes red and bleeps, it means there's microwaves leaking more than an acceptable level and that's all we have to do is bring this around here around the door it seems if you go right up to the door soon you'll find it will be it will, you will get a reading you can keep a, just a few inches away and there we are that's that's so that's fine there's no uh, leakage there which needs to be worried about and uh, yeah, that's a hot cup of tea now because that had gone cold. So, yeah, that's a good cup of tea again now. And uh, it seems to be okay. The, um, the reason for the fuse gone, I think, was originally age. And when the customer brought it in, he told me that uh, it had gone dead before and he had to pay for a new circuit board. Uh, well, you don't, you're not gonna put a new circuit board in and wrap the fuse up in copper wire, are you? So I think, personally myself, um, I wouldn't be surprised if someone's conned him. Um, but I'm not gonna accuse anybody of doing that because I haven't got the proof anyway. But that is typical of a shyster to tell someone they've done all this big, big job because the fuse is gone and the actual cause of the fuse going um, was probably just the loose leads in the plug and they also left the cord grip loose and they left the negative um, twice the length of the earth lead and so it was a codge up anyway 
Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put switch this machine on and off now uh, during the rest of the day and leave it on to cook for a while. You know, put some more stuff inside it. Um, you shouldn't put a microwave on unless you've actually got stuff inside it. And um, uh, see what happens. I checked all the components visually and there's no capacity swelling the main unit looks all right the magnetron looked a little bit on the edges around the coils it looked a bit sort of as if it had been working hard but um i mean it's it's how old is that it's it's um it's 11 years old so maybe that's uh, just fair wear and tear so there we are and um let's see how we go Right, well that's the end of this one. Thanks for watching. Oh, here's a picture of the um, the sort of fuse it's inside. It's this one here. Okay, it's smaller than your fuse what you put in the plug. That's that bit of wire which was wrapped around it. There's a bit more where I lost that. I've chucked it in the bin. Uh, yeah, a copper wire, would you believe? Anyway, thanks for looking, and uh, bye for now.